Nashville session guitarist Kenny Vaughn, currently member of the Fabulous Superlatives, Marty Stewart's backing band, and we're at Quad Studios in Nashville at a session for Jim Lauderdale, and Kenny's going to tell us what he likes about the Dario Prize. Well, I love your flat wound strings. They're my favorites. I'm, I'm kind of a uh, flat wound string aficionado. I, I, I used every kind ever made. I'm back to the Adario been using them for about uh, four years on all my uh, session guitars that I use flat wounds on, like uh, Gretsch's Harmonies, this thing, made by Floyd of Nashville. Now why would someone want to put flat wounds on a telly? Well, uh, Luther Perkins used them, you know. And it's just a whole different sound, you know, it, it, it opens up a whole new uh, uh, range of possibilities, you know, it's, it's a, just a sonic difference. Well, Especially you... when you're playing clean, you know, things lay in tracks different when they're on, on flat wounds. So they're just a different voice altogether, you know, both on the treble pickup and the neck pickup and, and you know, all the different settings, you get a different uh, you know, it just sounds different. They sit in the mix differently. Things come out different. You know, it's great for certain types of parts. You never know. And you, you use it with distortion. What is it? What happens under distorted sound? What happens to uh, a flat well, one? Well, once you get to a certain level, everything disappears and just becomes distortion. You know, but uh, when in the early stages, you can still kind of detect the difference. You know, but mostly in the clean cleaner uh, things you hear the difference so all that classic rockabilly the sun stuff um, rock and roll trio that's pretty much flat wounds probably you know flat wounds are kind of a rage in the 50s I think that they weren't used before that as far as I know you know they didn't use them on acoustic guitars you know none of the dance band guys used them on their arch tops and people sort of equate them with jazz players like Johnny Smith and Jim Hall and um, you know, Tal Farlow, guys like that. Definitely West Montgomery, you know. That's the flat wound sound. Flat wounds on a spruce top, real clean, you know, playing the... That kind of thing, you know. So, uh, but um, I'm pretty sure guys like Mickey Baker and, uh, uh, you know, Roy Nichols and uh, uh, who else? Luther, he always used them for sure. I know that because Marty has all his guitars and he's never changed anything and he even has the old strings that he took off, he wound them back up and put them in the pack and put them back in the case. So he probably didn't use, probably didn't change any of the strings on his guitar very many times because every time they went to California, Leo gave him a new guitar. And so, so that's why you see him with you know the different tellies and the Esquire, and then he switches to the Jazz Master, and then the last guitar he used was the Red Jaguar, you know. And I guess it was just every time he went out there, he said, "Well, here's my newest guitar, Luther." You know, apparently Leo really liked Luther, but uh, they all had flat wounds on them. And now flat wounds, uh, being flat wound, just last longer because there's no way to, for dirt to get in them. Is that? Uh, they don't. Um, they they age differently, you know. They, it's it's they're already kind of dead sounding, you know. So they don't uh, lose their brilliance like uh, round ones do. You know, you don't notice it as much. You know, and I change them because they get fret marks in them. You know, like on the D string and the G string, they'll they'll get um, you know they'll start getting fret marks, and I, that's when I pull mine off. So now, let's say your average producer a session like today, um, you're doing some Jim Lauderdale stuff and you've worked with him a lot and you probably know what he likes. Uh, would someone ever ask you, 
do you have a guitar with flat wounds? Are they that savvy about it? Or would someone ask you to do, give them that you would reach for a flat wound guitar? Oh, you know, like uh, it works really good for like uh, like uh, low string melodic, you know, things. You know, like if I'm trying to imitate Richard Bennett, I'll sometimes do that. Although he doesn't use flat wounds, he uses round wounds, but he always he plays on the neck neck pickup only on all his guitars. Even his Strat, he plays on the neck pickup only. It's like, my God, I've never used, never used the bridge pickup, you know. On a 6120 either? No, no, never has used it. You could take it off and he wouldn't know it. So he's you, could, you could disconnect it and he'd never know. So he's getting the his tone by moving up and down. The only guitar I know that he uses the bridge pickup on is his telly. And I've seen him use that, you know, quite a bit. But uh, as for his Strat and his uh, 6120, now he's using... Uh, just the neck pickup uh, George Harrison, was those flat wounds? Was that what we're hearing on the Gretches? Do we know? I would say that, yeah. I would say it sounds like it to yeah. me. Although I'm sure by, you know, like uh, 67, they probably had switched, you know, to uh, round wounds. I'm not really sure. You know, they probably didn't really know much about that stuff, and they probably bought, used whatever their tech had brought in from the music store, you know. Uh, I don't think that they really cared. So maybe that's why his he couldn't bend his G string too good in the early days. Right, and even you know even when he uh, got hip to the American guys that were changing their uh, you know uh, G string to a plane, he probably was just experimenting around with whatever sets he could get. You know, depending on what music store they were at and whatever. You know, when it got to where he couldn't go to music stores anymore, he probably whatever. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Mal, I Mal guess. Mal Evans. Right? Yeah, yeah. What probably whatever he bought. You know, so. You know, yeah. Probably wasn't until they started mingling with a lot of the London guys and the nightclubs in like 65 and 66 that they started figuring out that there was, you know, more specialized things you could be doing, especially when like, you know, Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix hit the scene. It was really probably when they really started thinking about their tones, you know. I know that they, uh, they probably got the strats in what, 65, late 65? Nowhere man's a strat, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was just reading in that Beatles recording book that John Lennon played the strat a lot more than I thought he did on tracks, you know. And I didn't realize that, so. I think he used his quite a bit. But you never see him playing it, you know, in pictures, but apparently he did. Give us a little something to place out.